Hi, um, I'm going to try to show you one of the other, or the other most important thing I think in sighting, and that is getting your angles right so that your placement uh, lines up the way you want it to. So we're going to look specifically at this angle here and the angles made by some of these lines that look uh, almost parallel. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these and see if that will help you understand what I'm talking about. If we uh, set a horizon or a horizontal line, and I'm kind of lining it up with this, although this isn't absolutely uh, level or straight across, uh, zero degrees. I'm trying to line that up so I'll have something to measure off of when I'm looking at things like uh, this next angle. I'm going to attempt to line another line right in here so I can check this angle out and I'll know a little bit more about that negative space. Now, all of this is in your imagination, of course, so you have to keep thinking about what you're doing. Here's that purple line and it lets me see this line and if I were to put something here, it's almost a 45 degree angle right there. So if I'm aware of proportions, you know, almost 45 degree angles, degrees there, if I'm aware of proportions, um, then I would know that I would bring this out almost from the top of this to the bottom of that. It's almost a third of the way up before that other bend is happening. Uh, and then I can see that's a very small, almost half of what that 45 degree is uh, going up this way and so on as I judge how to not only place this with respect to this surface it's sitting on, but give me some ideas about how those curves and those other shapes start developing. Understanding always you're looking at that negative space there. Um, I think that's a huge help in getting something like this done. Now let me talk to you a little bit about some of these uh, angles on the blocks. This is set up right along that edge and this is set up right along that edge and you see there almost parallel. Now, if we were doing again something like uh, well linear perspective, let's see if I can draw this line here to show you what I mean. If I were able to uh, do a horizon line, whoops, where did that brush come from, huh? Across there, uh, then you would be able to see that these would eventually, if I pulled them out all the way, they would eventually intersect because they're not quite parallel and that holds with what we talk about when we're talking about things like the uh, vanishing point that's going to be on the horizon. Now if you haven't done linear perspective and you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't don't get yourself all in a wad over it because it's not a big deal at this point. It will be eventually. And usually what I've told my perspective drawing students was that um, you learn all about this, you're just able to almost recite it in your sleep and then you kind of forget it and let it become almost second nature in terms of how the rules of perspective work. So at this point we're vaguely aware that they're going to converge out here and the same is true of these two lines only I did go a little bit further in, in trying to show you that. Um, I've set a vertical up this time with these two lines so you can read off of this angle and read off of this angle and you see that they're not quite parallel. This angle, other words, from the uh, blue line to the purple line is a little bit larger than from the blue line to the green line, those little spaces there. And if you did take geometry, well, I, I don't know, I guess maybe these angles don't make sense to you, but surely you can look at them and just kind of eyeball the fact that this space here is a little bit bigger than this space here, right? Okay, anyway, that's all there is about angles and things of that nature. I did, to give you a better idea of those convergences, extend those lines so you can see if, in fact, I were able to put my horizon here, you'd see where they're going to meet at that vanishing point. This is, as it's set up now, almost a perfect uh, two-point linear perspective, or at least that cube. So if you're practicing that, by all means, go to it. Another thing you might want to do is on your shading, pay attention to how, see how dark that line is? The very darkest place in your shadow is where those two objects meet, the surface and the edge of that box. And then it gradually diminishes out, doesn't it? But it's so interesting because you've got all the reflections here and that makes some of these areas a little bit lighter. Reflection up along here from the uh, light right up here hitting it. Real complicated things. You don't have to analyze it though. Just look at it and observe. Anyway, a little bit more on some of this and I hope both of these help some. Thanks.